there are only five handbags that you need in order to have a well-rounded collection. And if you are someone like me who has a very casual, everyday kind of lifestyle, then this video is definitely for you. With the prices of designer handbags at an all-time high, I think it is very important to be intentional with the handbags that we are purchasing. That is part of the reason why I put this video together today. I thought it would be a good idea to figure out what categories needed to be covered if you are someone who has just an everyday casual lifestyle like myself. Now, I did get this idea from watching my friend here on YouTube. Her name is Kayla, and of course, I will link her channel down below. When I had watched her video, she did a great job of covering these categories from her handbag collection, choosing pieces that she felt would work in different given situations. And I do believe she also got this idea from watching a video from Tiana Perry. So like I said, I will also link her channel down below, and you guys can check out their videos after this one. Now, one thing I notice when I look on luxury YouTube, in particular handbags, we sometimes see these really extravagant, beautiful handbags, and you might wonder, where am I going to wear these pieces? And in the past, I have found myself kind of getting a little bit caught up in that, falling in love with the look of a handbag, seeing it's beautiful, stunning, but then maybe not having places to wear it or finding out it's not that practical if you have a casual lifestyle. So as I said, if you are someone who is like me and you have a very casual lifestyle, this list is definitely gonna have some of those beautiful pieces, but then also ones that we can use in our day-to-day -day life as well. Alrighty, so my categories are gonna be slightly different, but I think that they all kind of have the same overarching idea. We're gonna start off with what I feel is probably the most important category, and this is going to be what is your everyday bag? For me, this is one that I just actually finally kind of completed and was able to nail down for my style and personality which bag this should be. And for me, my choice would have to be my Prada Re-Edition 2005. This one is in the black nylon, but it has the beautiful gold hardware, as you can see here. This is a piece I have not been able to put down since I purchased it. And I did grab it quite recently, but I have zero regrets. This is definitely a handbag that is now filling a void that I had in my collection. So what I love about this piece is, for starters, it is weatherproof. I live in Canada, we get all types of weather, precipitation, so this piece is something that I feel, because of the color and because of the nylon, I feel that I can take this out no matter what and I don't really have to worry about babying it or being afraid to get it wet. I also like the fact that this one does have a guitar type strap. It is the utilitarian style. Now, typically a guitar strap is not my favorite look. However, for an everyday bag, I feel like that is actually something that might be worth considering, especially if you have a quite casual day-to-day -day life because it is easier to carry on your shoulder. It can be quite comfortable. And honestly, I do like this little pouch that is on here too. I know for some people it's not their favorite, but I find this really useful if I have to put some pills, for example, like headache medicine, if I need to put my AirPods in here, it's really easy to have it separated from the rest of the bag. So I quite like this feature and it's important I feel also to have a bag that has a decent capacity though this bag seems like it's tiny it is a mini bag it really does hold a great amount I have no complaints you can fit a water bottle in here although I don't typically walk around with one it definitely can fit what I do enjoy is the fact that I can get my Rosalie coin purse in here. I can get my Louis Vuitton key pouch in here. I can also get a pair of sunglasses in here with a soft case. And then I can also put my phone in here too. So the fact that those fit in here with ease and I don't really have to play Tetris, that already for me is an indication it is a good size, not too heavy, it is comfortable and weatherproof. Those are the things that I look for with an everyday bag. And though some people might say that this style seems a little bit more dated now, 
In my opinion, this is a re-edition bag, meaning this was popular about 20 years ago now, and I feel like fashion is something that always comes in cycles anyway. So if you are considering this bag, but worried maybe it's not as trendy anymore, I would still urge you to get it because I have been loving this piece and I think it's a great bag. The next type of bag I feel that you should have in your collection is a big workhorse bag. So this is one that you can take traveling, it can fit a lot in it, it is also quite robust so it's not going to get damaged super easily, a bag you could even use for work potentially, just a big bag. So the bag that I choose for this category is my Marc Jacobs the tote bag in the large size and I feel if you're familiar with my channel, this is probably not a surprise because I am a very big fan of the Marc Jacobs tote bags. So this one is a great bag. This is in the canvas size and I did get this in this beautiful blue color. I am a big fan of this piece for a couple reasons. So one, when you go into the bag, you have so much space. It is one open hole, but you do have a little bit of extra storage in this piece here. So if you wanted slightly more organization, you have it that way, which is great. You also have these handles here. And as you can see, though it is canvas, they are still sturdy. You can bend it, but it essentially pops right back up. These are actually extremely comfortable on the shoulder, so I can truly appreciate that as well. The other thing, it is a great size, it is large, but it is personal item friendly. So if you're traveling and, for example, you want to travel with just a carry-on, this is when I found this bag truly shines. Because it's so big, you can fit so much in here, but again, you don't necessarily have to push it to a check bag. You can use a carry-on and use this as your personal item, and it does fit within the dimensions that are allowed with most airlines that I've seen anyways and you can definitely get quite a bit in here. Another thing I'd love to note about this bag is that you can really get it for a great price point. The canvas versions in Canada retail for $300 when it's regularly priced. However, you can often find these on sale from several different retailers. You can find them on sale at Holt Renfrew. You can find them online at Essence. You can also even get sales from the actual Marc Jacobs website as well. So if you're looking for a piece that you can kind of throw around, you don't have to worry about putting it under an airplane seat, or even if you want to take it to the beach, I feel that this tote bag truly does it all and it does not look unwelcome in any situation. Moving on to the next category, this is going to be the carefree grab and go handbag. More if you have to run errands like just running to the mailbox or maybe even you're quickly going to the gym, maybe you have kids you have to pick up from a practice, something where you can just grab it, fit your essentials, not have to think twice about getting the bag. Now when I think of this category, personally I think of something that would be inexpensive, something that I truly don't have to worry if I'm slinging it around in my car, if it does end up getting dirty, and for this category I would definitely recommend this Uniqlo sling bag in the crescent shape here. This bag went viral for a very good reason. I was actually given this bag as a gift and I'm so happy because it wasn't necessarily a piece that was on my radar prior. What I love about this is that you're able to adjust the straps so it can fit you comfortably as a crossbody like this or you can even wear it on your shoulder as a shoulder bag, which I appreciate. I've worn this bag all of those ways and I found it's been really great. Also, I would like to show you the capacity on the inside. This truly can fit so much. This can fit a little umbrella. This can fit a water bottle. This will fit everything you need to just grab and go. Another pro of this bag is that it comes in so many different colors. So if you feel like you wanted one shade, but maybe you wanted another color for a different season, you could definitely afford to do that because these bags are quite inexpensive and you can even get these on sale from time to time too. I also love the fact that this is a unisex bag. There really isn't much to it. It is functionality, but yet it does actually look quite good when you wear it as well. So my partner has borrowed this bag from me many a times and he has enjoyed using it. I'm considering buying him his own because I feel like 
I need this one for me, he can have one for himself too. But this is just a great piece and like I said, because of the material and because of the price to a certain extent as well, you don't need to worry about anything happening to this bag. And considering how much I personally have used and abused this bag, it's actually in pretty much the same condition that I got it in and I love this piece. If you were looking for a luxury version to replace a piece like this though, I do think there definitely is a place in a collection for a crossbody sling bag like this. Another option that I am considering is the mini bum bag from Louis Vuitton in the monogram canvas. I do like the fact that this is easy. It would be smaller than this bag here, but it will fit your phone. It will fit your essentials. And for the purpose of a grab and go, I do think that that would also be a great option to have. It's not as big, like I said, so it's a little bit more compact, but then also if you wanted something that was from a luxury fashion house, there definitely are many alternatives from the various different brands as well. Moving on to the next category, I definitely think this one is one of the most important, and this is getting a good transitional day to night handbag. For me, my choice would be my easy pouch on strap. I absolutely love this piece. And now I did kind of limit myself in the sense of the color perhaps. This was from the By the Pool collection, so it definitely leans more to spring and summer. However, they have a beautiful taupe color as well as cream and black offered in the Empreinte as well that I think also works so well as a transitional day to night piece. And that is for a couple different reasons. I love the fact that this is compact. So if you wanted to take this while traveling, this is something that's not gonna take up a lot of space in a suitcase. This will be lightweight, even though it does have a leather shoulder strap here. It's not something that should dig into your shoulder too much because again, the bag is quite lightweight. I also love the fact that you can wear this as a crossbody. You can wear it as a shoulder bag with the leather strap here or it does come with an additional chain strap as well that you can also use. And I feel like because of those features, it transitions so well from day to night. What I usually will do is if I know I wanna be using this bag in multiple different ways, I will attach my gold chain from here and link it here and let it dangle in front of the bag as like jewelry for the handbag. And then knowing that I have the shoulder option here for the leather strap, but as well, if you unsnap this, and you pull it all the way out on either side. The piece will allow you to use it as a crossbody as well. So this is something that I definitely use very often. It just depends what I'm doing for the day. And even if you don't necessarily need to go completely day to night, when you're traveling, it is ideal to pack light. So I also think this is a really good travel bag, as I mentioned, for that reason. You kind of get a two-in-one here, as long as you're able to just use your essentials, because of course it is not a huge piece, but I think that's part of the beauty of this bag as well. So definitely a great day to evening piece. Before we get into the last category, of bag that I would recommend for just having five handbags. I want to say thank you so much if you have made it this far. Please be sure to give the video a thumbs up if you were enjoying the content, as well as please hit the subscribe button down below if you have not already. Thank you so much to all of my current subscribers who have already been on this journey with me. I would love to have anyone new here join along with us. And now, moving on to that last handbag. I feel that this category is really important as well because we see all of these beautiful shiny objects in these stores and I think it's important to have that one handbag that just makes your heart sing. That special date night bag, the one that you can pull out and you know that your heart and your eyes are just going to be glued to it for the rest of the night. For me, in this case, it would be my Saint Laurent Sunset Bag in the medium size in the black croc embossed leather with the shiny gold hardware. I really do feel like this handbag is such a statement piece and I love it for that reason. I love the structure to it and I feel like because it is structured, though it is in the medium size, I wouldn't typically say this is a medium size bag though if I'm honest, but it is called the medium size. It still is not out of place if you wear it to a wedding or if you were to wear it to a more cocktail hour type of event. This bag is definitely one that is a great versatile piece 
but it is also going to give you that show stopping moment. Now, don't get me wrong, I have used this for more everyday kind of errands as well. If I'm going to the mall or even in the winter time too, because I do find that the croc embossed leather is quite durable, I have worn this over a coat before and used it cross body. So you definitely can use it more than just for special occasions. But I feel like the important thing is to have that one handbag that you just know is going to be a showstopper in your eyes and you're gonna feel so amazing wearing this piece. This is actually my dream handbag from Saint Laurent. So I am so happy to have this piece and I truly do cherish it. This is one that I love so much and I feel like every person deserves that in their collection. So it's an important area definitely to have covered as well. So I would love to know what you thought of the categories and the picks I have chosen. Do you have any bags that fit really well with this category or do you have five handbags that you know are the basis of your collection and as long as you have those things you feel like you are good to go. Also, I would love to know for those people who also love designer and luxury handbags like myself, do you feel like you are also in a position where because you live a more casual lifestyle that you don't necessarily have places to wear all of these fancy bags and that you are looking towards some more casual pieces too? Or are you someone who just rocks those glamorous bags no matter what the situation? And if that is the case, I can definitely appreciate that too. Let me know down below in the comments. Again, thank you so much for watching guys. Please make sure to give the video a thumbs up. I appreciate all of the support. It really does help my channel grow and I will see you guys in the next video.